Hello, uh, let's see on this video something uh, new, something about uh, what is uh, Hitaro that you could see some explanation with Ciro Giuliana in a prior video on the Ask Ciro Giuliana uh, series and uh, on this Hitaro it could be translated as uh, to be flawed or to be submerged it's uh, a study of Bundaku, a strategy study when you are in a concealed or confined space and you are uh, receiving a guest that you expect that could be dangerous uh, and risky because it could be an assassin, a Sika Kunin, that we have also explained in other videos. Then uh, on this uh, gathering or on this meeting, uh, you expect that you could be also attacked then uh, you are in a, a very concealed uh, circumstance and you need to react in, uh, in order to survive on this kind of situation then uh, we are not having here the conditions to show what conceals the situation but many movements that could be applied on dojo are uh, uh, avoided on this kind of study because we need to remark that this space is not giving uh, conditions to, uh, to perform several ways of reaction that could be also applied in other circumstances or situations. And it's very important in this case because we will focus on the idea of being attacked by a, by a tanto when we are on say supposition, maybe a meeting, like it could be a tea ceremony or any kind of gathering that we will be dealing, receiving maybe a tegami, a card, a letter, and it will be a, a, with a situation that I have no space to react, I have no time, and we, I have to enter inside. Then uh, this means that we have to make the difference between what it's a tanto shirahadori, uh, suki kaeshi, and all these studies that are linked to jujutsu and aiki jujutsu that couldn't be applied on this kind of circumstance because in this case we will be restrained by the conditions of the environment that we will have around. Then uh, also we have to make the difference between the studies that you could also find in our channel concerning the Uchu Sisen itself on the Sue, the first 25 Sue that uh, like Sohen uh, Sue that it's employing the attack of the enemy with the Tanto in order to thrust itself uh, in this case herself by, by the attacker but in this case, we, I will try to explain the details and how uh, this uh, method is performed to avoid the attacker to, to strike, to fulfill the, uh, the betrayal. And in this case, with uh, Sensei Rebecca Roca on my left, please, on I uh, will perform sequences in a very slow movement because the idea will be to uh, the idea will be not to harm, to show how violent and, uh, and, and hard and tough are techniques, but in the other way, as uh, how technical art, how uh, technical details we could uh, remark from those techniques. Then, please, he, she is showing us a tanto that she is. Uh, she will be maybe hiding, disguising inside the OB. It could be also any kind of small weapons, but in this case we will deal with tanto, with knife situation. And in this circumstance, I will be surprised and also concealed by the, by the situation that maybe in my back I will have a shoji uh, wall or on my right or my left side, then I couldn't uh, escape from the attack. Then the key here will be to have control on the elbow. This is the key. For example, if she tries to stab me on my stomach uh, with a regular tsuki, a tsukutsuki, from here I will move in this way to have control on the elbow. Take a look that from here it would be hard to uh, come to me. The, idea is, uh, the problem here 
is that uh, if I don't uh, take care on the elbow, uh, if I focus maybe on the forearm or on the wrist, it will happen the following thing. For example, she tries to stab me, I block here, but of course I am not having control and she could retreat, cutting me maybe on the lap, cutting me on the stomach, or maybe trying, or like in Tsukikaeshi, trying to maybe go here and cut me in order to avoid my, my, my grip on the, on the wrist. Then, the key here to develop this method, uh, this uh, Hitaro, it's to have control on this elbow. Then from here, first step, have control on the elbow that I have here. Because from here, it will be hard for her to, to, to uh, get away, to take out the tanto, to retreat and go back. And at the same time, I am having control of all her body in order to escape. From here, I move for entering here with a back backward movement trying to go behind with the tanto in order to stop to the body also stop here entering on the throat on the neck the arteries and it could be also fine breeze we could go here and from here going here to the ground also stabbing and having control of course this couldn't be a drop because the key is to to also keep on striking and having control on the enemy on this kind of situation. I will try to, uh, to make more examples in order to, to figure you out uh, how this method is applied. For example, in the case that she not please us on Honte, if she tries to uh, draw in, in Honte and comes maybe to stop on this side, this. For example, entering by, uh, by the outer side on my neck. One more time. The key here is the same. Gain control on the, on the elbow and from here make this control in order to, uh, to make the perforation to pierce here and also come to cut, etc. Happens the same if you could see maybe on attack on a diakute, attacking maybe on my head or maybe attacking on the arteries on subclavia here or here, etc. Then from here, same aspect to stop here to gain control and from here came back with the knife in order to pierce. From here, we could move and cut into the side. I move in order to show what's happening here. Moving, and from here, I have the control. The other hand could try to attack me, but I could also move in order to have control and also make the pressure lay down in order to cut the arteries close to the neck in order to end the enemy. This method could be applied in several circumstances. For example, if she tries to attack me on this side, and it's close. Here, I have to have the control on these hands. And from here, what I will do is not going to step back, but having control on this side. Moving and having control to enter inside. And cutting here for to the ground and also having this control. From here, of course, I could go here that it's this, don't drop tanto. I'm doing slow, but here it's very, very violent. And of course, I could uh, release from the hand, drop from the hand, in order to start on the stomach area and also the arteries on the neck. And from here, I could move. In order to have control, this will be controlled by my. My, my lap, at the same time, my elbow is going inside, making a flexion on the, uh, on the neck and piercing, trying to go and entering into the lungs or heart. One more time, try to, uh, try to enter in any way. You pull wrong from here, 
enter here, control, and with that circumstance, move it and retreat in order to cut. If we have this position, I could kneel over the lap, don't drop the tanto here, and from here, this is very, very painful. I could grab, pass, and cut in in order to make the pierce on the stomach area. You could see it only depends on the control. What we couldn't let the enemy is to escape, to give condition that the surprise that she is trying to, uh, the, to the betrayal that she is trying to, uh, to to realize to, to do it. It could be uh, it cannot be uh, perform that in any way. For example, she could try to turn me. On a, uh, if we are uh, to the side, for example, if she tries to draw and from he here tries to attack me here on the neck, what I have here is to control one more time. I move and from here, what I could do is come back in order to cut and also have the control from here. I could move go to the ground, it's also painful and what is happening here it's the tanto it's with the kashira close to the to the ground and from here I am making pressure in order to make uh, the tip the kisaki uh, appears on the stomach and all the body in order to reach the internal organs then those techniques are examples, quick examples, that the key show how you could move, for example, like first one, not far, but in a close movement, that because we are not having space, but from here I have the control, and you could see that my, uh, that my lap is supporting the knife in order to stop, at the same time I am having control of her and from here also to make the control and also the stabbing on the throat. Then with this an example to uh, clarify some uh, studies concerning the method that uh, it's called Hitaro. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed. Keep watching our channel and thank you very much. See you next time.